Always remember, ladies, every time that nigga open his mouth, he lying. And y'all might disagree, but good thing I'm not y'all, right? Thank you. What's in? What's good? What's poppin'? It's your girl, Tara Anisia. Welcome to, or oh, welcome back to my channel. Had me thinking that I was average when you really don't play. Today's video is just gonna be a little day in my life for real. I'm not really, you know. Yeah, y'all know what I'm saying. Today really is just a day in my life. I know y'all never seen me start a vlog off outside, but that's just where I'm at right now. It is 9.47. I didn't brush my teeth. I had a donut. Lana had a donut. I had some coffee. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Right now, we just out here chilling for real. I was playing with my neighbor's dogs because they always trying to come over here. At this point, they might as well just be mine. On today's agenda, I know for a fact, I know for a fact, I was trying to say I know for a fact I'm going to be doing my hair because I the flies are chibi killing me. Uh, not braiding. I ain't never starting a video outside again. I know for a fact I'm going to be putting locks in my head because I didn't braid my hair down already. I just got to put the locks in. The only reason why I ain't put the locks in yesterday when I braided my hair is because I could not find my crochet needle. But we went and got a crochet needle. So now I have no excuse and I can just do it. You know what I'm saying? So my... Girl, wait. You are? What the heck? Um, don't, 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 don't do too much on the hair now, y'all. Hold on. But I'm about to put these locks in my hair right now. Find me a YouTube video to watch while I'm doing my hair. But first, I just want to talk to y'all because y'all know I'm not as consistent as I would usually be. Because at one point in time, I was posting like three times a week plus like i was on my grind for real but to do my locks i'm gonna be using this brand and this and i'm about to talk to y'all real quick because i got some stuff i need to get off my chest and i ain't really got nobody to vent to for real so i'm about to vent to y'all i really like i said i really need to vent because i don't be having nobody to vent to for real so i'ma just vent to y'all like this week these past like two weeks been so damn crazy bro and i've been running into some snake ass people bro like y'all just don't understand and then another thing y'all know your girl been single for like a little minute not because i don't get niggas because i mean obviously i do but mainly because like just i know how lame these dudes are and i was tired of giving chances to these lame ass niggas definitely new orleans dudes like y'all be finding them little niggas attractive but real life they're lame like the niggas are just so lame louisiana niggas are so lame but new orleans niggas are lame as hell and they probably gonna be offended watching this but y'all lame as fuck and i'm gonna be the one to tell y'all you know what i'm saying so at first i didn't want no relationship with nobody because what i'm not gonna do is sit here and introduce all these men to Alani so I figured okay I can give the shit a try but just don't let nobody meet her type shit and that's what I've been doing like I just ain't been letting nobody meet her for real and if they do see her that's all they do is see her like ain't no conversation talking to her none of that like girl where was I going with this conversation oh dude, I'm like bro this shit for the birds bro like this shit really for the birds this shit really for the birds. But y'all, don't you ever, don't you ever date somebody that you was friends with first. I made that mistake so many times. Not even so many, two, like two times. This was my second time making that same mistake. Ignore Lonnie. But the first time I had a little relationship with this dude that I went to middle school with and we was like real cool. Like me and him was so damn close. Like, I know his people, he know my people, our people know each other type stuff. And we decided to try a relationship and that shit did not end well. And to this day, me and him still don't talk. Like, if we would have never dated, me and him would still be like as tight as we was. You know what I'm saying? So, he, he pulled some shit so lame that I don't even want to like look at you no more. The f Like, honestly, I probably should have never even put these socks in my head because i know damn well i cut my hair last time but who's counting right communication could fix so much that people don't be realizing like if you open your fucking mouth so much could be talked about like i just seen this tiktok and it was like the worst pain is when you get played by somebody that you lowered your standards for and y'all when i tell y'all i lowered my standards for this nigga i ain't even mad at fool for real i'm mad at myself for being that fucking stupid like when you finally give that nigga a chance, he, he, he fuck up. Like, what? 
So what you wanted? Like, what, what, what you wanted out of me, bro? Like, I could have sworn I was a cool-ass person for real, but I guess not. <laughs> and, like, I could have sworn I was really a cool person. I don't do nobody nothing. I don't bother nobody for real until they come bothering my peace. Like, what you come bothering my peace for? I look you on go live on Instagram and see what's in with that because I don't even go live for real, but I do. I look you on talk my shit. Like, I need to stop. Like, I'm a private person. I'm a real private person in real life, not gonna lie to you. And I really be trying to keep a lot of shit on the hush because I don't like to ruin people. I don't want to ruin the way that people see other people for real. But look, if it's my life, I can talk about it. Definitely if I'm doing this YouTube shit, if it's my life, I could talk about it. And please excuse my mouth, y'all. Y'all know I'm getting like a little too comfortable on the camera, obviously. But that's just how I talk. And mama, if you're watching this, girl, I get my mouth from you. <laughs> Besides that... My friend Baby Shower, Saturday, I'd be so happy for anybody to have kids, even though we are young. Like, being a mother is, like, really exciting. It's a reason to live. Being a mom really gives you a reason to live. Like, I'm so happy she's going to be, and she's, don't take this wrong, because no, she's not a bad person, but I was saying that she's going to become a better person, like, for her kid type stuff. Like, I'm so proud of her, even just for the way that she handling the pregnancy and everything. I'm about to try and go live on my spam page that I don't even be telling y'all about because I don't even want y'all following me on it for real. But I might tell y'all what it is someday. Not you being in a live. <laughs> I'm trying to do my hair. Quest to join the live. Talk to me, talk to me. <laughs> I'm about to be doing this shit all day, bro. all right y'all good morning good morning excuse mickey mouse in the background it is two days later but i want to show y'all what my hair turned out like and let y'all know what's going on for today so y'all today mickey mouse is probably like hella loud i'm getting dressed for another job interview as y'all know i had a job interview in the past yes i did get the job but they was taking too long with my drug test and my background check and i got a call yesterday okay so i applied for a job with the city basically and the way that goes is you apply for the job and you can get different departments or different locations or whatever so at first i didn't get the location that i want but i was just happy that i got the job so i went to the interview you did real good yada 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 just wait for the you know results back so then yesterday i get a call from the department that i actually wanted to go to and they was like hey um i seen that you signed an application in january i want y'all to come in for an interview today for 9 30 right now it is 8 16 they told me that yesterday like i want you to come tomorrow for 9 30 so now it's today and i'm getting dressed to go now and i was like so happy like y'all know i was bucked up or whatever happy that i got the job interview that i wanted to get to begin with right and mind y'all i have not been rushing it because i'm a real believer of put it in god's hand and it's gonna happen how it's supposed to i've been waiting it out i was happy to get the interview but then after that i get a call from the job that i went to the interview for at first and it was like hey tiara like we got your results back and you can start on monday just sign the offer letter you got till tomorrow to do the offer letter so now i'm kind of in a pickle because i can either one go to this job interview decline the offer and just hope that i get that job but then imagine i decline that offer and then go to this interview just and I get the job and then I'm out of a job or I can go to the interview and accept the offer but then change my mind at the last minute but that's not very professional you know what I'm saying so I'm really just trying to excuse my deodorant but I'm really just trying to figure out what's going on what am I gonna do that's besides the point I really just wanted to catch y'all up with what everything was going on I want to show y'all what I'm wearing yesterday I went to Rainbow Yes, I do shop at Rainbow, and I wanted to show y'all what I got. So, I got this little shirt. It's a sleeveless shirt with the little neck part, y'all. Y'all know how that goes, a sleeveless shirt, and I got this little skirt to go with it. See, you know, cute, cute, or whatever. The khaki skirt got this. I'm going to show it to y'all when I put it on. The shoes that I got are honestly ugly in my opinion, but I'm just wearing it for the day, so I'm not really mad for real. Let me put this stuff on because girl i need to hurry up because even though it's for 9 30 i remember at my last interview they was really happy how early i came to my interview they was like you should always come early regardless like definitely for interview always come early rainbow got some real cute clothes it just be sometimes the material be what you call it it be bad but this shirt don't seem too bad material wise my hair came out cute 
And I'm about to show y'all what I've been using on my edges lately. They really be having my edges laid for days. The got to be ultra glue styling gel. It's a styling gel. Let me show y'all what's going on. We gonna tuck that and just pull this up like this. Okay. So it's kind of big in this area. This is how long the skirt is. Like right above my knees. It's complimenting the body for real though. All right, y'all, I am finished with the interview. I'm sitting in the front seat because that's where the air is. And my mama went ran in a store real quick. And like I said, I needed some air. Alana then went to sleep. So I got her sitting up here with me chilling. The interview, I don't, I don't really know how it went. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Because I want to say it went good. But I was nervous. At least at my other interview, I wasn't nervous. At this one, I was. Hello. Back to what I was saying, y'all. It's like, I wasn't nervous with my last one. But I was nervous with this one. Like, I was hella, hella, hella nervous. What they gave me tender space. Tender on my nuggets. These my nuggets. Girl, wait. Did they ask what kind of sauce I wanted? Back to what I was saying, y'all. I went ran to this daycare that I want to line it to go to. But they don't even got no opening spot, so. Oh, bro. Now I got to see what daycare to put her in. Like, I don't know what daycare I'm going to put her in. Y'all, today is Boogeyman birthday. Tyson made two today. Barbecue. 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 Uh-uh. Why would they do that? Bro, what makes them think people want barbecue sauce with their nuggets? Because I don't. Oh. I'm gonna use it, bro. All right, let's just hope I really don't waste this sauce or whatever. Y'all, like, oh my goodness. Unpopular opinion, but I don't think barbecue sauce should be no dipping sauce. But since I'm in the car chilling for real, let me talk to y'all a little bit. I've been in such a shitty mood. Like, I'm gonna just be honest. I've been in such a shitty mood lately. Everybody just seems so fake to me. Always remember that it is. Every time that nigga open his mouth, he lying. But I don't understand what is so hard about telling the truth. Like, just be honest. Why do it kill people to be honest, girl? Like, and a nigga do all that preaching about how they the realest nigga and all this other stuff. Talking about something. I can't stand a liar. I hate liars. But you are the liar. Like, what? Be for real. Ain't got time for all that extra fakeness. So y'all choose your friends and the company you keep. Choose that wisely. Watch who you be around. Watch who you date. Watch who you lay down with. Watch who you sleep with. Because people real life be fake. Be plotting on your downfall type stuff. Just talking to hear themselves talk. That's all that shit. Be talking to hear themselves talk. And then they get on social media. And they get to preaching about how they just want a, a woman that's going to love them. And how they need all this, that, and the third. Then they get the girl that treat them right. And they mess over her too. And they get to um, post to talk about loyalty and all that. Baby, you don't know loyalty from a can of paint. Let's be for real. Girl, I could never. Do not, do not. Don't never date no friend. That's for a fact. Don't never date your friend. Because it never ends well. Y'all going to end up falling out. Y'all, I think I'm going to start a little podcast on YouTube. And I'm going to really go in depth about how I feel about these things. Because right now I'm just talking. I can't really get too in depth about the whole nigga situation like I want to. But I feel like we going to end up falling out. And when we do, I'm going to let y'all know the whole story because i ain't got time for all this anyways because i'm really just talking and my battery gonna die so i'm gonna see y'all probably when i get to the house i need to pack up so that i could go by my sister house go see my little tyson man and yeah i'm gonna see y'all then <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, wait wait tyson wait about to blow it all right y'all hold up <laughs> please don't happy birthday <laughs> Make your wish and blow them out, Boogie. Go ahead, blow it. Oh, he already did. <laughs> hey, y'all. Good morning. It well, it's not even morning no more, but it is the next day, y'all. I'm just chilling for the most part. You know, not doing too much. I should be starting to get ready. Not really. But excuse Coco Melon in the background, y'all. But right now it is 12:35. I got a baby shower to go to for three o'clock. What I'm gonna be wearing is what I wore for my birthday. I don't even know if y'all remember, but if not. Did I vlog my birthday? I did. If not, y'all gonna see what I'm wearing later. Actually, y'all, I need to start plan content planning because I need to get back on top of my content. Like, I need to get it together. 
Yeah, that is Bubba, huh? Watch on um, YouTube or whatever. But I need to get on top of my content because I just yeah. have not been on top of it. Also, I don't think I told y'all, but I did get the job yeah, for the job interview. I don't know the start date just yeah. yet, but you know. I really do need to content plan because I just feel like I've been doing a whole bunch of vlogs, but I haven't been doing none of my sit-down videos or anything lately. So I need to throw out some old sit down videos cause those are the easiest to do and the fastest to put out. So we gonna see how that go. I need to put down some YouTube goals because I don't even do none of that no more. All my stuff been going down, you know? Everything that I had going for myself was going down in the YouTube industry and I need to get it back to where it was at first because I was doing pretty good. Coco, you are doing all that whining but you think you gonna run away and I ain't gonna let it happen. Yeah, so I need to do some more YouTube, um, what you call it, excuse my nephews and stuff in the background, cause there's just a whole bunch of noise, but y'all ain't listening to that, y'all supposed to be listening to me, that's all that matters. So I gotta put on these press-ons, cause y'all know that I've been getting into press-ons for real, for real, but I'm gonna do that closer to the time that I gotta leave. Cause the last thing I need is for the nails to be falling off my fingers, like, y'all know how that goes. So, I'm about to... I'm trying to see. I be doing all this in my notes. Honestly, you really just need your notes to plan whatever you planning or whatever. So, let me see what it is I'm going to plan. Girl, I ain't do no plans since January. Alright, I am going to show y'all my little YouTube goals or whatever. It ain't nothing big, nothing spectacular. All I'm going to say is not too much on me now because I know that it ain't a lot. But it's just a little something for somebody who ain't really been on here like talking about it. So... That's going to be my main goals. We're going to do 5K plus views. That's analytic wise. We're going to do at least 100 plus more watch hours at the end of that. Because watch hours is like the hardest thing to get. First, we're going to do 50 more, at least 50 more subscribers. I'm pretty sure I can get more than that. We're going to try to do 8 to 10 videos, 8 to 10 shorts. One video that reach at least 500 views because the views be hard to get when YouTube ain't pushing your video out like talking about it. I want to do at least two shorts that reach um, 2K views and I want to have at least two 20 minute videos. So that means I need at least two vlogs that is 20 minutes. But since that been so easy for me lately because I have been pushing out the 20 minute vlogs, I'm going to try 25 minutes. Let's push myself a little bit at least a little bit you know what i'm saying so we're gonna do at least two of them but i'm gonna let y'all because i'm pretty sure the ones that don't have a youtube channel don't really understand what i mean with the analytics and stuff because since i have not been uploading and when i do it's like weeks later or at least a week like i even look it been eight days since my last video and that's just talk about right now meaning i haven't even started editing a video my analytics been doing so bad but it's yeah, I know it's just because I've been taking a little minute to upload. But this video, y'all, let me tell y'all, for those that's making YouTube channels, when I tell y'all that your video sometimes blow up way after you post it, this video right should have been blowing up. And I have, when I uploaded this video, y'all, so long ago, this has 7,000 views. But let me show you, hold on. Y'all, this video did so good. Most of my viewers was coming from YouTube search. So I guess when people would search up um, Team Mom Morning Routine, that's what popped up or whatever. And what's crazy is the videos that do the best is the videos that I don't even like myself. And I'm the one who recorded it. Like, what? Y'all, it been doing so good. Like, people really be all up in it. And I love that for me. This one video I got um, 309 watch hours from. I love that for me. And let me tell y'all how long ago. Uh, how long ago it been since I uploaded that video for it to just now blow up. Girl, here you go right here, y'all. That video so old. It was a year ago. I posted this video a year ago. And it's hitting 7,000 views. So, let me content plan, y'all. Let me see what videos it is that I want to do. So, that's my May YouTube goals. But let's do some May YouTube videos. YouTube video ideas. Just for me. All right, so I'm not even gonna count vlogs for real. I need to put down some sit down videos for real. Cause that's, that's the one be the quickest one. So I might do a vlog a week. Okay, so I might do, uh, every week I'm gonna do one vlog and one sit down video. Let's at least attempt to try to try and do that. Because 
I ain't making no promises or anything, but that's what I'm going for, you know? So we're going to attempt to do a sit down video. So I'm going to try and think what all my sit down videos is that I want to do. And if y'all have any ideas of sit down videos that y'all want me to do, just put it in the comments and I'll be willing to do whatever I promise. So I think I might try and do a updated how I found out I was pregnant. Cause I did make that video before, but I made it so long ago. And I feel like after that video, I watched it and I was like so many things that I forgot to add. So I can really just extend that video and make it more detailed, uh, very much detailed how I found out I was pregnant. I could also do a labor and delivery story time, labor and deliver, deliver. Hygiene routine that I've been really procrastinating about. I want to do a, a hygiene shopping video, but I ain't got nobody to record for me. And I want somebody to record for me. But I'll do. I'm going to just add that in here. Hygiene shopping video. Y'all know I do a lot of teen mom content, but my y'all, I'm about to be 20 in July. So I can't always make teen mom content. And I'm also debating on if I want to continue to make mom content. Like, I think I'm going to always make mom content because, honestly, mom is my entire life. But I'm going to also, like, shift away a little bit and try not to have Lonnie on camera as much because I don't know if y'all noticed. But Alani have not been wanting to be on camera, like, talking about it. And, you know, I'm not going to force her to do it. If I, if she in the camera, y'all know I'm just showing her, like, like I just be showing y'all, like, oh, look, this is what Lonnie doing right now. Or this is what Lonnie got on. And if she come in the camera, she come in the camera. If she don't, she don't, you know? So... It really depends on what Alani want to do because she's about to be three. Oh wow, that hurts. But <laughs> she's about to be three and she has opinions and feelings and wants and sometimes she don't want to be on camera. Also, there's a lot of weirdos out here. So that's another reason why I don't want her on camera like talking about it. So we're going to see. I mean, I'm going to still do my little teen mom routines or my mom routines, young mom routines, whatever it is. I can still do those. But y'all just gonna see Alani when y'all see her. And when she won't be on camera, she gonna be on camera. That's pretty much it, okay? So, oh, let me, how I edit my videos. I'm gonna do that because I edit on my phone and I use CapCut, by the way, for those that be, you know, wondering how to get your first 1,000 subscribers. You see, there's a lot of videos that I could do that I just been procrastinating on. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's six. Um, well, yeah, six video ideas, but five sit-down videos that I can record. And I really been waiting for my hair to be done, but since I did my hair, it's about time to press record and get to moving. I do want to start posting YouTube shorts. I really want to start posting TikToks too. I want to start taking my TikTok serious, but. I just have not for real. But I'm a, I'm a start. I'm a start. I need to push out to my full potential. Also, y'all, I wanted to let y'all know that y'all know that I am in college. I'm thinking about taking the next year off and focus on what's important. And I know the older people in my video, I mean, the older, my older audience is gonna be like, well, college is what's important. But hold on, honey. Let me, let me tell you. Hold on, baby. Let me tell you. All right, so let me give y'all the 411 on why I'm going to be taking a break and why I feel like school isn't what's, report and what's important right now. And like I said, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get a lot of hate from some people, definitely the older audience that feel like school should be life. But let me tell you something, baby. I have a daughter, okay? And now I have a job. Therefore, I need to focus on making money for my kid. You know what I'm saying? At this point, it's one thing if I have no child, then yeah, school should be number one because honestly... School is only a priority when yourself is the priority. I'm not a priority. Alani is my priority. School is not helping Alani. School is helping me. You know what I'm saying? Work is what's going to help Alani. Me going to work and working for my child is what's going to help my child. And that's what I need to focus on. I need to be able to focus on making money so that I can focus on giving my child a life that I want her to have. You know what I'm saying? And make sure that she have everything that she needs, which she does. She have everything she needs and more, but I need to make sure it stays that way. And school wasn't helping and school was getting in the way of working because between having to go to school and having to take care of Alani, that was my whole life. You know what I'm saying? So I'd rather switch school with work. I go to work full time and then come home to my child. When am I gonna have time for school? Y'all see what I'm trying to say? Y'all see what I'm trying to say? So after I do what I gotta do, money-wise, make sure that I have me and my child straight, then that's when I come in and try to do better for myself, which is school. 
later on. But right now, I'm not focused on me. I'm focused on her. That's all that matters. And that's what's best for my kid. So that's what I'm going to do. And y'all might disagree, but good thing I'm not y'all, right? Thank you. Anywho, yeah, so that's that for the most part. So college content most likely not going to be coming next year. But I barely put college content in here anyways because college ain't do nothing but stress me out for real. Um, I was doing good in school. It's just stressful. That's all. Like, all that, mm, mm, mm not for me. I really need to get started on um, editing this video because honestly, if we're going to be honest, I can. So if I finish, if I edit this video and finish it today, I can upload it tomorrow. Look, see, I can show y'all her right now because she right here. A cheese. You want cheese? Cheese. No, no. Let's see, look. Yeah, she don't like being on camera, y'all. All right, y'all, just a little small tip. If you are gonna have a YouTube channel, this is what you're going to need, a SD card reader. It plugs into your phone and you put the SD card in there and it transport the stuff from your camera to your phone. Easiest thing ever. If you got a Canon and they tell you to get that Canon app, that stuff moves so slow, it ain't even worth it. Let's get it. I'm off a 15 passenger, this is G5, no, this not a challenger. Big one. I keep some numbers with me in the fridge, get close to see Had me thinking that I was average, when you really don't plan.